Great stuff. Oh, didn't realize this was still on here. Well, welcome to this amazing end of week show of ours. I've got really good news. So, 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 so excited. You have no idea, guys. Uh, my name is Prosper Tarubinga, and I'm the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital. Your one-stop shop for everything digital in the uh, online space. And watching this show is definitely guaranteed to help you earn a little bit more money with less struggle. And you can actually get the recognition that you want in the industry that you love. I can see Matthew has just tuned in. Thank you so much. Travis, thank you so much. Um, The reason why I am so... Dressed up like this, like you're saying, Travis, is because I have actually been um, nominated and now in the final round for our little area here uh, in the city. Uh, I don't know if you can see that in the city of um, Whittlesea. Um, and I've been nominated and I'm a finalist in the Business Excellence Awards. Okay, so drum roll and a little bit excited for myself. That's one of the news that I was, I'm going to be talking about. So Travis, that's the reason why um, I'm still very excited about today. So today we're talking about how, um, you know, everybody else is sold on the entrepreneurship dream, but it's not exactly what it is turns out to be at the end of the day, okay? I'm excited, I'm happy, and it's all happening, but that might not be the case for a lot of people. That might not be the case for your uh, Friday today. So I really, really want to let you know that, obviously, it's not your fault. There's a lot of things that are playing against you that might need to be addressed if you know what it is that needs to be addressed, all right? So sometimes you might be sitting there and thinking, oh my God, this is not working for me. Some people are just crushing goals and they're collecting successories every single day and you have this little voice inside of you that is always screaming, quit, or or it's telling you to, to, to go back to work or to some sort of comfort you know what I mean? And I'm here to tell you that maybe that voice is right. Maybe that voice has seen things that you haven't seen. All right. And I'm going to give you today, um, the, this is one of those really opposing uh, views that I have, but I feel like Today, somebody might really need to hear this message, all right? Yes, and Rebecca, successories is the little your little victories that you pick up on your way to success, all right? Today, I just went in and I was told I'm the finalist for Business Excellence Awards in my area. That's a little bit of a successory, but it's part and parcel of the whole big picture, all right? So whenever you feel a voice inside of you that's telling you to quit, Remind yourself why you got started, all right? Remind yourself why you got started. At the end of the day, some people just start a business and don't realize why they did it. And that's the reason why they would never, or they, the, their business and themselves is never going to align with who they are or who they really, really want to be. Matthew, thank you so much. Ah, yes, I'm excited today. I just came in from um, being told... I've become a finalist in the Business Excellence Awards in my little area, so I really had to dress for the occasion. The award ceremony is actually on my birthday on the 24th of August, so if you guys are going to be around, please come around and watch me win the prize of Business Excellence within my own area. Okay, and I had a really good chat with a friend and now colleague, Sue Mills. Sue, if you're watching, thank you so much for your time today, and I'm sorry Kalia kept uh, coming in. We talked about something that is of paramount importance to today's business. A lot of us are just going in for the excitement of running a business, but not knowing what exactly it takes to run a business, all right? Some people are sold the dream on maybe some crappy Facebook ad, and then they think automatically they're an entrepreneur. Yes, we will give them that, but when the burnout comes, when the incongruency comes, when it comes to delivering what you're supposed to be delivering to your clients, that's when rubber meets the road, okay? So all, this, all these things that you see, maybe at the beginning of the year, you would have you know, told yourself, yes, I'm going to start a business, yes, I'm going to be this entrepreneur, and then July came in, nothing came up, August, now you still don't see results, 
First of all, I want to tell you to hang in there. All right. Results. And especially if it's something that you really want to work for the rest of your life, you got to continuously put in the little accessories that you pick up along the way. So you need to make sure that every single day counts. You need to make sure that every day that you wake up, you're putting something towards your own betterment for tomorrow. Because at the end of the day, some people are just maybe anticipating that this is going to be the result or they're anticipating that there's going to be some sort of pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. If you haven't defined what that pot of gold is, if you haven't defined what the end goal is, if you haven't defined what it is that you're hoping to achieve, you will never be successful. You will never see that success. All right. So some of you would have noticed yesterday I put up um, a post and I was asking people, why does it matter? You know, I was I was asking people, why does it matter? That post is subject to anybody else's interpretation. It's subject to how you are going to interpret how you feel about your work, how you feel about your output and why you think it actually matters. All right. We are now in an environment where people now can tell authentic people from people that are just hooking up with their brand. Because if you're just hooking up with your brand, your work shows the, the quality of your posts, the quality of your relationships, the quality of the people you hang out with, all of that will be, you know, a factor that affects how you are going to put out your work out there. All right. So you need to really find out is your environment actually supporting your entrepreneurial journey. When you do say you're going to be an entrepreneur, have you got all the systems in place? Have you got a wardrobe? Have you got something that's going to make you stand out in the market? Because every day, you know, when you log on to Facebook, you see at least one person that's complaining about how other business people are doing their business or how other people are doing stuff at the gym. And usually some of the times you would normally see that um, the, that status will normally end with something like, well, in a few months, they'll all be gone. That is actually true because this whole entrepreneurial journey is sold to everybody else, but the hustle is sold separately. All right. I mean, these are not my words, but these are words that are going around in the market right now. Everybody knows that what they want. Right. Everybody knows, you know, who they supposed to become, but it's hard to attain that. You know what I mean? You might have had resolutions and now you're afraid to, to actually go out and do the real thing because maybe you've got fear of failure or maybe you, you, you are just the, the dream is easier than the things that you actually have to sacrifice. Do you know when you're an entrepreneur, you, 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 you have to let go of your family. You have to let go of the barbecues every weekend. You have to let go of playing ball with your mates. You have to let go of just showing up at places where you're not needed because none of that will be fulfilling your, your whole dream at the end. All right. So what you really want to do right now is figure out, am I doing things that are useful and stop dreaming and start living that life? Because if you don't embody your entrepreneurial journey, if you don't become the entrepreneur, it's going to be difficult for you to align with what you're supposed to do, to align with your why, to align with your vision. And that's the reason why people burn out. All right. You see, stop dreaming and actually start living the entrepreneurial journey. Because if you're just dabbling half the time, what you will realize is it will be difficult. You, you're not going to, to, to withstand the pressures and, and everything else that comes along with it. We all just really get caught up with the romantic idea of what our goals are supposed to be or what our dreams are supposed to look like, but we don't put in the cost of waiting for those dreams to come into reality. It is a gift, ladies and gentlemen, to wake up dressed like the way you want to be, show up in places and winning awards and actually living the life. It is a gift. You, I'm not the only person that wants to enjoy this. You're not the only person that wants to be at the top of the totem pole. Somebody is working hard enough to make sure that you also don't get that. So if the people that are working hard enough to make you not get that are winning and are not taking a day off, why are you as an entrepreneur taking a day off? 
Because half of the time, if you are actually working and you're grinding and you know the difference between Friday and Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, I don't think you're working hard enough. Every single day should be a day of you putting in something and then putting out something. What you put in is what exactly you get out. So don't expect that if you're not working today, three or four years down the line, somebody's going to knock up on your house's door and say, Hey, Prosper, I remember you spoke about this. Can we now get into business? People take up to six times or eight times before they even look at your work. So what are you doing to facilitate that time that they're, you know, in between choosing who to work with? You know, sometimes we really get lost in the possibilities of how we can spend our days, our weekends, and most of it is just dreaming and, you know, watching Netflix. And you know what? Netflix doesn't make it any easier for you, you know, because it only gives you 15 seconds to decide whether you're going to watch the next movie or 15 seconds to decide you're not going to do nothing for the rest of your day. All right? So without having a proper anchor, without having a proper reason, without having a proper why, or without having a proper fire in your belly to actually tell you where you want to go and how you're going to do it, it's going to be difficult for you to wither through all the storms, you know? All right? Dreams are there. The whole entrepreneurial dream is available to anyone who wants it, but the hustle is sold separately. So you might have a dream, but without actually doing the work, without actually doing anything to make those dreams come into a reality, you're probably just going to be a high sounding nothing. The reason why a lot of people then burn out is because they are not aligned with what it is they're actually working on. And that's the reason why they don't feel like they should continuously give their energy. And you then have a grand opening and you have a grand closing. I know guys, it's, 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 it's really, really hard work to grow a business. For the past four years, every single day is us working a mole or really trying to put out a fire that doesn't even exist or anticipating fires. Now, if your mindset is not put into your business and well vested to make it the rest of your life, it's going to be difficult for you to win. Do you know what I mean? It's very difficult to stay focused, you know, you know, through, through and through and we know with all the ups and downs and with what they're telling us that the market is actually going to go into a recession. A lot of people are starting to freak out. But if you know that your business is strong, your business is you and you're going to carry it through, you're going to be that victor who's going to be waiting at the end of the tunnel and say, hey, guys, I've been waiting for you here. Let's do some work. It's going to be difficult to stay focused through the ups and downs and all the failures that people encounter. Do you know what I mean? I feel like there has to be somebody who starts to start talking to people that entrepreneurship is not the only dream available. You know? Things don't normally work as planned. You might have been wasting all this time and not coming up with anything. So maybe figure out what you're really good at and find other people that are already winning in that space and work with them or for them. You might think that I'm tripping, but at the end of the day, it's better off than you going all out and then coming back home as a wounded buffalo with nothing to show for it. It will hurt. Right, so it, all these changes are going to require a lot of sacrifice. Are you ready for that? Accomplishing major business goals requires a lot of sacrifice. What are you willing to give in order to get? First of all, you can't even give a status update. Now, do you think you'll be able to handle clients? Come on, you know. You have to give up, you know, doing things like what you really enjoy. All of that will be a theme of the past. Watching TV, watching tabloids, following the Kardashians, whatever it is that you're doing, you are going to have to give it up if you really want to see an ounce of success. And Stephen, thank you so much for tuning in. So, you know, you want to give all that time to be working on your goals 24-7. You know, and, and, and the reason why, um, like I was talking to Sue a little bit earlier on is because some people, today's a Friday, they lock their business in their drawer on Friday and then on the weekend, they are not their business person. And when it comes to Monday, they're trying to catch up now. 
You know, why not just make it part of you? That whole work-life balance is a myth. Put your family into the business. Let them understand what you're doing. In any case, they will actually help you. When your grandmother is out at bingo, they'll be selling your product. But if they don't understand what you do, there's no way they'll be talking about what you do and there's no way they will support you because people only support a world that they helped to build. All right? So if you're not really careful and creating your environment around the, the, the whole, you know, where you really want to go, it, something will pull you down. Gravity is a bitch. It will always bring you down and beat you with experience. All right? So you're going to have to say goodbye to all the extra time that you normally give to ancient friends that are not going anywhere. Because if they were, at least they would have done something last year. Do you know what I mean? You want to use all that time to fill up your mind with people that are going to help you grow. All right? Like I always say, if you squeeze an orange, you always get orange juice. But if you squeeze an apple or a lemon, you get the juice that's inside there. So what are you putting in your head in order to to that when the time comes to be squeezed out, whatever you put in is what comes out. So guard your influences, guard the people that are around you, guard everything that 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 protect your or your brain. Because what we're doing every single day is like letting somebody come into our house with a truckload of garbage and just putting it in there. Would you let somebody do that in your house? I don't think so. You would fight them or you'd call the cops. So why are you letting TV and radio ruin your way to success? They're going to always tell you that things are bad. They're going to always tell you that things are going to go down. But if you listen to, to that, they will always go down with you. And beat you with, uh, with, with, with experience there. And uh, Rebecca says, people only support a wall they helped to build. That's great prospect. That needs to be a shareable image. <laughs> of course, I will definitely um, maybe create something like that for you so that you can do that. All right. The reason why we're not really going for our goals and, and successes, every single day I wake up, I make sure that day pays. I can't just be paying rent. I can't just be paying bills around here. That day has to give me something back. Whether it's this invitation to, to win an award, whether it's a TV presentation, with something, I gotta get a return of my investment for waking up. Are you asking of your day what your day is giving to you? You know, every every ad, the post that I put out, is, it has to give me something back. You know, and, and, and half the time I was talking to one of my uh, long friends and he was really excited about how he can now charge um, a lot more, well, after 20 years. And to me, I was just thinking, that's a lot of self-limiting beliefs. All right? The things that we tell each other and, and we're holding ourselves back. First of all, nobody actually cares. Nobody cares if you succeed or you lose. That's, that's one thing that you got to realize. So all those people that you think are around you, they are only worried about their own crud. They're only worried about their own future. All right. So you got to make sure that you are not the only person that's holding you back. That whole excuse about, oh, the government, oh, you know, my father, my mother, all of that is hogwash. Nobody cares except you, and you got to make it matter. All right? You see, we, we have to deal with feelings and thoughts from our past experiences. I grew up in a really, really tough environment or tough upbringing, but we made the best of it. All right? I love when some people, I'm not saying it's not, but once you're brought up in the first world, most of the complaints that a lot of people are, have are petty. You know what I mean? So experiences that keep you from, you know, going from, from where you really want to be and you're holding on to grudges. It's like having people live in your brain rent free. Would you have somebody stay in your apartment rent free? So all those grudges that you're holding, all those people that you're saying, oh, they're stopping you from going anywhere else, all of them are living in your brain rent-free. It's time you start getting paid. And you only start getting paid if you realize and you wake up and you start saying, you know what, I'm sick and tired of not achieving my results. 
All right? So everybody wants to, to accomplish goals, but nobody wants to put in the work. Half the time, we're telling ourselves, oh, maybe I'm not smart enough, maybe I'm not lucky enough, or maybe I'm not strong enough, or maybe I'm not good looking enough, or you know, maybe I don't have what it takes to accept success in life. I call that BS. Yeah? You're special and unique in your own way. You're Peter, you're um, Rebecca, you're Nicole, you're Ivali, you're Stephen, you're Sam, you're, you're Dr. Shami, you're Keith, you're another Keith, you're Peter, you're Daniel. Every one of you has a totally different name. And look at your hands right there. All right? Every single finger is a totally different height. It's got its own story to tell. You cannot put a, a marriage finger on a pinky and, and then it works. It doesn't work like that. You have to put it where it belongs, on the marriage finger. So every one of you is supposed to be serving a purpose. And if you're not doing your part, then you're selfish. Because you're just worried about yourself. And Peter says they create excuses. Excuses sound best to the person that's saying them. You know? Excuses sound best to the person that's saying them. Have you ever noticed that everything has a solution? All the time that you say, oh, I can't do this because my pen is not writing. Have you asked another person for a spare pen? That would have been an excuse. So find out how many things are you telling yourself that you, you can't do just because you, you think you're not smart enough, you think you're not lucky enough, you think you're not strong enough. I came here and I knew no one. I knew nobody and nobody cared who I was up until I made them care. Six years ago, I came into Australia with nothing but a backpack full of hopes and dreams. Now I don't even have a backpack. I need bags for my suits because you know why? I didn't stop to think, oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, I'm not strong enough. Oh, I'm not from around here. Oh, I wasn't born without it. Everybody's special in their own unique way. Stop telling yourself off of your greatness just because of your laziness today. You're the only one that's in this world and there will be no other person than you that you can actually admire. And that doesn't mean you can't do what you actually deserve in your whole life. All right? Because at the end of the day, today is, 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 um, today is Friday. And that's the reason why I'm all really pumped up because I was looking to see what have I achieved, what have I done. And if you're somebody who's been sort of really paying attention to my stuff, you would notice that every single day I show up for this show uh, for 30 minutes. You know why? Because I planned it and I actually uh, created it. All right. All right. Now the results came in and it actually made me realize that the more I'm creating and relating to people, the more I'm actually, you know, really, really making an impact. And Faith says we have the same mic. Oh, yeah, it's a blue Yeti. Congratulations. You know, so w what I'm just trying to say is, you know, I, I took a look and, and I noticed that every single day that I don't show up, some people freak out. What are you doing within your space to own that space so that you're not just going to be a one-click wonder and you're actually going to serve a purpose to those people that actually want to hear from you? I, I, I can know that sometimes you have the fear of failure or maybe public rejection, but let me tell you something. 99% of the time, everybody is looking at themselves. Classic ex example. Classic example, Faith is looking at the mic right now, automatically she's making it, she's owning what she has, so she's already comparing herself to what's around me and looking at what we can compare. Everybody's always looking at themselves, so don't be afraid to fail, you know what, that person is not even listening to what I'm saying, they're busy looking at my mic because it looks like theirs. All right, Faith, I just had a bit of a dig at you there. All right? So everybody else is afraid to fail. But more than that, we're actually afraid to look bad. All right? See, the thing is, okay, maybe I'm comfortable wearing, um, you know, um, tailored suits like this. But that doesn't have to define who you are. 
Be comfortable in who you 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 are yourself and and be authentic in that space. All right, we are we're always terrified about what others think of us, you know, and 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 how people think that we're going to be failures and we're actually failing. At the end of the day, every day that I wear a suit and a tie, there's some hippie out there that's saying, "Oh, I don't have to wear a suit and a tie." You know why? Because the people that I hire are the ones that would wear the suits for me. But I choose this. This is my style. All right? So nobody cares. I care. I'm the one that makes sure that I'm I'm consistent. I'm the one that makes sure that I'm the person that's doing and delivering and I'm doing it in a way that I feel comfortable. Yeah? All right. So, you know what I mean? Um faith actually it does because your um profile picture was determined by what other people think. So, I think you need to be clear on what you think people's opinion doesn't matter there all right so you know failure is a part of business and sometimes we actually do need failure in order to see how we're going to progress all right now sue mill says remember that most of our businesses are an extension of ourselves so if we have an identity crisis so does the business oh exactly this is exactly um you know this is exactly what 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 we were talking about earlier on all right sometimes we do not marry our business or our business is not congruent to the person that we are becoming all right sometimes we outgrow the business or sometimes we actually depend a lot on the business uh, in as much as we we lose that you know consistency within 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 ourselves all right so even if you're going to do anything one thing here is you're going to fail and in the end like what faith says it doesn't matter what people think all right i did that on purpose i actually wanted to see if you care but you keeping responding actually shows that you actually do care anyone's opinion is not important to the grand scheme of things that you're putting on your table anyone's opinion does not matter to the grand scheme of things of putting money in your pocket Anyone's opinion does not matter to the grand scheme of things of you putting money in your pocket, you paying bills, you affording the lifestyle that you want. No one's opinion matters except yours. Right? That's why a lot of people fail because we are afraid that other people are going to think less of us or are going to think that we are inadequate or are going to think we're not strong enough or are going to think that we're not the right person for this job there are a few um you know entrepreneurs maybe that are actually watching this video today that will face you know a lot of circumstances that are way out of their control and they will quit it was nice knowing you guys those that are going to continue it's going to be a, a hell of a road yet again but you got to stick your guns all right and faith says i agree but it never hurts to listen to see if there is a way maybe you can improve definitely all right there's a lot of people that are you know one click wonders starting off etc etc but i really do hope you're not going to be a statistic i really do hope that there's something that we can do to help you there's people that you can um communicate with or congregate with and actually um you know help you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable all right it's a friday for me and since this is the birthday month we're going to start celebrating little by little um if you really really like my show and if you really really like what's what this is all about please share this video obviously it might have just been a rant about people that are complaining about quitting but i hope that's not going to be you and you want to use this video as an anchor all right to come back to it and know that first of all anybody's opinion doesn't matter all right what you think how you feel and how you're going to present your business is what matters at the end of the day all right i really hope you're going to have a fantastic weekend i really hope you're going to have a fantastic business my main goal is to make sure that you earn a lot more money with less struggle in your business and if this video is helping you achieve that please share it and if you really enjoy what i'm preaching or if you really enjoy what i'm saying i have a wish list from amazon um that i want people to help me fill up my library with books all right so if you can 
Um, just type in, if you really want to help out, just um, let me know. Type in books and I'll send you through the, 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 the link so you can, um, you know, help out, um, you know, with, with the book purchases. In the meantime, I really hope you're going to have a fantastic weekend. If you really want to help out, type in book and I'll send you through my wish list so that we can grow together and I can help you earn more um, with less struggle and also help you get recognized within your industry that you actually love so that you're not going to be a statistic and so that you can actually accomplish your business goals and you are not going to quit. I want to see you at the top and I hope you can have a fantastic weekend. If you really, really, really want to help me, like I said, type in books so that I can give you my uh, uh, wish list uh, on Amazon so you can pick up a book so you can buy me for my birthday. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. Bye for now.